Right, I'm using the circuit now, which is just the uh, reed switch directly hooked up to the coil through the battery. I've got a neon across the uh, reed switch to uh, stop it burning out. At the moment, it looks like we're capturing all the flyback voltage through these 10 LEDs here, all hooked up in uh, parallel. And that's pretty bright. Now we're, we're capturing 3.4647 volts AC back and it's flickering between 0.01 and 0.00 now and again for the amps that we're uh, carrying back out the system and also I've got another coil just resting around the side which is hooked up to this LED here which is uh, getting another 0.01 amps back out of it. And that suggests to me if we was to put a few more of those around it we would gather all of that back out as many cores as we want to put there. Now uh, the way I've made this go a little bit faster is I've taken the core out and the, uh, the spindle seems to like it a lot better. So it slows down to a stop now. Just kick it off. As soon as the voltage goes up to about 3.5, we start to draw uh, uh, more amps off this. That's it. Brightness of them, uh, I'm quite shocked at. And also, we've got the uh, energy coming back out of that one. If I move the coil slightly closer. It's about as close as we're going to get it, 3.5. See all the LEDs in there now. So it's just running up to speed again. Again, and still gathering that over there. I think the uh, input amps is about uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.5, and 0 0.06. Sorry. So uh, we need to build a lot more coils to put around the outside, and then link them all up to uh, perhaps a capacitor, and then straight back into some batteries again.